Hey guys, Jacob here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can use pre-fire with refrag in order to better your aim and hopefully look like the next Nico on the server. So what is pre-fire and why should you use it? It's very simple. At Refract, we host all our mods on a game server, which means that the quality of the gameplay you're experiencing is top notch. It's not like when you're loading up a workshop map that is hosted on your own PC. Some even play 64 tick instead of 128. No, we're hosting the servers and we're hosting this pre-fire mod on a game ready server, like if you were a pro player, like if you were Twist or Nico going into a game. Now, pre-fire is a mod that makes sure that you are very well prepared for all sorts of different duels in the game. It almost goes by the name pre-fire. The bonds are spotting in commonly known places and your job is to pre-fire them and kill them as fast as absolutely possible. But the thing is you can't expose yourself, you can't take too many duels at the same time, so you constantly have to be aware of your surroundings and constantly have to control your, I guess, body language in the game while killing these bots who are spawning in commonly known places. So you have to pre-fire, but you have to use your brain as well in order to come into a position where you can actually do it quick and efficiently. Now that you're familiar with what pre-fire is, I'll show you what a normal run looks like for me. So instead of me just talking about what pre-fire is and how awesome it is, I may as well show it to you as well. Because there's a few things you've got to stay alert of. There's a few things you've got to stay aware of when you're playing pre-fire if you want the full experience. First and foremost, it almost lays in the name. Of course, you've got to be able to pre-fire, but there's different ways of doing it. One thing is straight up pre-firing a corner where you know a bot is standing. Another one is sort of like tracking down the bot as you move around a corner to do it. I'll show it to you right here. I'm very well aware that there's a bot standing right here behind this box. So I can almost pre-fire into it like this and kill him like I want to. But I could also be moving fast while doing it. So if I'm coming around the corner like this, I'm aware there's a bot standing right here. I'm now locking in my crosshair like this, killing him. I'm aware there's a bot standing right here. And instead of just, you know, pre-firing like this, where I'm almost aiming at him through the wall like this, you could also just use your language and hoover your crosshair around the box until you know he's right there. Same here, same here, same here, same here. Same here, and same here. As you could see as well, I overextended a little bit. I almost got killed by the bot because I exposed myself too much. We have on purpose designed pre-fire so it actually simulates what it's like to be in a real game. If you overextend, you take too many fights at the same time, you will die in a real game and you will die in pre-fire. So it's very important you take that into account that we actually have managed to create a tool, create a mod that resembles playing in a real game as much as possible. As you can see, if I'm peeking out right here in Yard and I wanna fight three guys at the same time, you're just gonna be absolutely destroyed. So you gotta be aware of your surroundings. Only one fight at a time. Shoulder peek as much as you can. Shoulder peek as much as you can. If you just stand out here and you're not hitting your shots, as you can see, you're just getting killed. So shoulder peek, take the fight, shoulder peek, take the fight, etc., etc., etc. That way, it resembles the way you're playing your game. It resembles how it is in a real game. And if you overextend or if you make too many mistakes, you'll die. Pre-fire comes in two different mods. One, where you're playing the competitive one, where you're comparing yourself against everyone else who's playing on refract, it's the same rules for everyone. And there's a adjustable one where you can do a practice mode where you get to choose the difficulty of pre-fire. You can change the different stuff in the menu. First and foremost, you can change the guns that the bots are having as an example. So you go into bot settings and you can choose that they're playing with only pistols or playing with SMGs. So if you feel that they're a little bit too hard hitting, you can just change that. You can also change the Kevlar of the bots, whether or not they have armor, etc., etc. Another way of making it a little bit easier is to put on X-ray. So if you're finding it difficult to figure out where these bots are standing, or if you're finding it difficult to complete a certain arena, you can type in the chat .xway, and that puts on X-ray. So when I started right here, as you can see, all the bots are now glued up, so I know exactly where they're at. That obviously makes the pre-firing a little bit easier like this. Now I know exactly where to look. So if you're still new to pre-fire and you're not familiar with it yet, X-Way is definitely gonna help you to get familiar with these different bots spawn points. Another way of modifying practice mode when it comes to pre-fire is the fact that you can change the bots and where they spawn. When you're playing competitive pre-fire, the spawns are always the same for the bots. So you're competing against everyone else in your own time. Of course, the bots have to spawn the same place every single time. Whereas when you put on random spawns, it actually becomes way more difficult for you because now you have to pre-fire and pre-aim all the different possible positions the bots can be in because you don't know where they're gonna spawn. 
respawn. So if you want a little extra difficulty, you can go into game settings, you can put on randomized arenas, randomized bot sets, and make it way more difficult than the usual competitive tier. Given Prefire is very, very competitive, of course we have leaderboards as well that showcases you and where your time is amongst the best of the best. There's of course the classic top 10 leaderboard where you can see the 10 fastest time ever made on a map like Nuke. There's also regional seasons where we give away prizes, etc, etc. And a new cool thing for the competitive tier as well is the new statistic page. If you click it right here, you get to see some stats about your performance while playing Prefire. You can see your time to damage, you can see your crosshair placement, you can see how good you are counter strafing, how many attempts you've had at going for pre-fire, crossfire, etc, etc. And in the future, you'll be able to break it down by map and by mod so you can compare how good are you at pre-firing on Nuke compared to how good are you at pre-firing on Mirage. And more so, in the future as well, you'll be able to compare yourself against the average of the community so you can see whether or not you're above average, below average, or just in the middle. There's a lot of cool stuff coming for the pre-fire leaderboards, so make sure to stay tuned. So that was a little presentation of pre-fire, why you should use it, what it's good for, and how it's going to make you a much, much better aimer in Counter-Strike. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys grind it out on the Prefire server, but just make sure not to use it against me, but with me when we're playing together, because I bet you, you're going to become much stronger in the aim department if you incorporate just half an hour of Prefire every single day. You won't be fun to play against, trust me.